Gates crash open and they're racing away. Casey's fortunate, a little slow to start, lost the length. Rich and Style from a wide draw just getting hurried along to go off to the lead and Rich and Style's far in the front. Colour Troop racing away in second position with Battlefield Glory a length and a half off them. Then along the outside is Glorious Leader sharing strides with that one. Further back then we find Takana. Casey's Fortune now moved a bit closer along the rail to race about five lengths off the leader. La Mafia's towards the outside caught too deep early on. Imbovine is in behind them with Hardwood. Unforgettable fire. And at the back of the field is outside Beds must be racing about a dozen lengths off the leader. They race towards the first corner. They're going at quite a quick gallop and in front is Rich and Style doing it by a length and a half. In second position is Coloured Troop. Then comes Battlefield Glory at the rail third. Only a length off the leader. Takana follows this one with Glorious Leader. Caught too deep. Must be racing about three lengths off them. Casey's Fortune now going backwards towards the rail. Racing now eight lengths off the leader. That one's been passed by La Mafia. Also Unforgettable Fire in Bovana. They're all going past Casey's Fortune. Hardwood now racing a bit closer. Then we go back to outside bets. They've got 800 metres left to go and Rich and Style in front by half a length. Second place is Coloured Troop as they spin for home. Then along the outside, Glorious Leader. Battlefield Glory at the rail. Got about three lengths to make up. To corner, two off the stand side. Starting to make progress too. They followed by Unforgettable Fire and Imbovana. They've got 500 metres left to go. Rich and Style going by two lengths. Battlefield Glory is out after him. Then comes to corner and the Black Sleeves and Cap starting to take off. Towards the inside is Coloured Troop. they still got Rich and Style to get to past the 300 meter mark to corner on the outside glorious leaders trying hard and outside bets is finishing strongly on the outside is still rich and style in front by three battlefield glory to corner coming out the pack so is outside bets on the stand side but it could be too late muzi and he's absolutely ridden them to sleep and rich and style is going to come home and win very comfortably second place to battlefield glory hardwood got third and outside bets ran on for fourth but rich and style it wasn't a race at the top of the straight and he won from start to finish Welcome back to the winner's circle and uh, as I said to you, the stable in good form, uh, the Bill Newman stable, a second in the first and the winner in the second and now a quick double with uh, the third race as number six comes to Rich in style and scores a good victory. Well done to you, Tini. You gave the public this and said uh, the runners will definitely be running well today. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, he ran third, I think third or second in Joburg over 1,600. Uh, we knew he can run that distance and so on. He went today over 1,800. And I just want to say to Mr. Calderia, the in course, they're well done. In one ball, by a good one ball. And uh, yeah, Muzi had a very good race here. I was trots up on him, yeah. Well done. Thank you, bye. Thanks to Tini then. The man of the moment, uh, Muzi Yeni, well done to you, enjoying a wonderful uh, week thus far, a couple of winners all over the show. Yes, a little bit of a quiet start after coming back from the ho holi holiday. End, end of the season holiday, but uh, just a big thanks to my patrons for their support, Mr. Yuman and uh, Tini for coming down here, the horses were well prepped and uh, I know it was a little bit far in distance, but uh, I just, if they're in that distance, you've got to take your chances and ride them like they all stay. And uh, I decided to lead it and when he got to the front, he dropped a bit. Uh, she switched off, I, followed, I went around them. And uh, when it came to the top of the straight and I gave her a smack to pick up the bit, he held a bit quite well. He got down, he dug down deep and won a good race. I must say, that was a beautiful ride by yourself. Uh, come and get me tactics. No, big thanks to you, Alvin. Appreciate it. Uh, just uh, when you race a lot, you gain a lot of experience. And when you got the horses behind you, it's a lot easier. Well done to you. Before you run away, you got a couple of nice uh, rides to come. Uh, where do you think your next best would be, Muzi? I think I'm competitive all round. I don't want to leave any horses out. And uh, like you've seen for yourself, the stable is bang on form. So I just hope we can pick it uh, Keep picking it up. Well done. Thank you. And like I say, big thanks to my sponsor, Winning Form, for all the support. And uh, to Sam, my follower, always supports me. Big thanks to him. I also follow you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well done to Muzi. And uh, well done to uh, Bill Human there. As I said, uh, stable in good, good form. And uh, that was your result. The first leg of uh, the place accumulated. Disappointing in the race was uh, your favorite number one to Kana. Didn't improve on that uh, first run. And uh, second went to Battlefield Glory, holding his form extremely well. Nice from the filly i told you include this into your bets the 11 hardwood and a big outsider for fourth that was the eight outside bets so that's our provisional result here at flamingo park six to eleven and eight big six coming up race number four